Hi everyone, welcome to this reaction video of uh, the Nintendo Direct that is being aired March 3rd, March 8th, 2018. Wow, I really should have practiced this before actually doing it, but we are practicing right now. This is 10 minutes before the actual Direct begins, unless they decide to start it early. So, tune in for roughly 30 minutes of information focused on Nintendo 3DS, yeah, it's still live, and Nintendo Switch titles launching this year including new details on Mario Tennis Aces. Who cares about that? Everyone's hyped up about uh, plenty of other games, uh, hoping to see something, like something Smash-related maybe. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not disappoint ourselves by expecting something that was never really announced. The only thing we ha really should be disappointed in is if there is no Mario Tennis Aces at all, because it's Suzuki says there's going to be that. But all joking aside, uh, Animal Crossing Switch, so we can shut up all the people asking about that, maybe? Whatever. Also, more news. Road to S Plus. If you've follow, been following me on Twitter or uh, my Discord channel, you should know that I've reached S Plus on all modes in Splatoon 2. So right now, I'm rendering all the videos for that. I've rendered six so far. It's gonna take me a really long time to finish them all, but I think I'll start to restart the series starting tomorrow 1 p.m est okay so look forward to that and it's not stopping until at the end because i've already reached the end cool just gonna say right ahead of time the ending is kind of anticlimactic. the final match was <laughs> i tried to make it hype but there was a disconnect on the enemy team there were plenty on my side though so it's all fair uh there's eight minutes left ask me anything Something reasonable, please. Also, this chat... Oh, yeah, th that's right. The chat uh, is not fixed uh, for everything. Try to fix this. What's my favorite color? Orange. How uh, am I? I'm fine. Thank you. Took a nice shower. Whitehawk. Why is your name Whitehawk? It used to be Blackhawk. Which is based on a character in Advance Wars 2. He's got an attack called Black Wave and Black Storm. And his name is Hawk. And after some time, I decided to change it to White Hawk. Because some people are making jokes about my name. Mm -hmm. Christian server rules. How's the weather? It's snowing. Very nicely, though. It's not warm. Like, the snow is not going to last too long. It's very soft snow. Have gotten any new games for Nintendo Switch? Not lately. You think Star Fox Assault HD will happen? I... Maybe? I didn't, I didn't really think about that. Do, what question of a question do you want me to question you? Ask me anything. How is your day today? Good. What game do you hope to see? Smash! S Smash 4 Deluxe. I actually want to see all the characters that were in the previous Smash in the next one. But I imagine maybe if Sakurai is still in charge, he might actually try to go for something new anyway. Um... Melinda Chan asks, can you send some snow this way? We need moisture. Sorry, I, I need all my moisture to that. I need all the snow I can get. I love snow. Um, which is the next question? Do you hope for Smash or more Splatoon stuff this is direct? Vote! Why not vote? What is your favorite game for Switch? Um, hmm. That's a good question. There aren't too many games on my Switch right now that I have. Uh, let's skip it. Let's skip it for now. <laughs> what would you think if they released Fortnite? What's Fortnite? Yeah, that's that's my answer to that question. What is Fortnite? Uh, Mr. Amazio, hi, Hawk. Bizarro says, also announced Fortnite. Uh, okay, I don't know. Do you want to see Dragon Ball Fighter Z on the Switch? I'll probably get it on PC, but sure, why not? Do you have le yes, I have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But the question that I'm going to question you is... Uh, I don't know. Can you say my name, Splat Zelda says. It's a fort at night. Okay. Do you like to squid all the woomies outside your juice museum? More importantly, is that a good question? What are you asking me right now? What does that mean? Oh, right. Fortnite. Now, remember, Fortnite is a battle royale game like um, PUBG, Player Unknown Battleground, right? Except it's much more stable, but it's not as popular because it's not as renowned or infamous as it is hmm. i never really tried a battle royale game so far so i'd have to try to really get a good opinion about it 
We need Pokemon Generation 4 remakes. Honestly, I think I'm fine with Pokemon right now. Uh, just Gen 2 is all I need. Not even the remix of Gen 2. Just Gen 2. Yes, I'd ask you anything, but I said also something reasonable, Welsh Gamer 547. Kirby Battle Royale is better than Fortnite. Shaking my head. It's actually more streamed than PUBG. Okay, good. I like I don't know about Battle Royale games, so. It also says 3DS games. Hawk, what do you think they'll announce for 3DS? Apparently there's some, like Japan is really in trouble. Not in trouble in games. Like Japan is sort of kind of um, transferring out of console, the, the console market. Because the mobile market over there is so much more popular. So I want to say it's like mostly uh, Japanese games, like Japanese uh, publishers and Square Enix. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I, someone mentioned uh, to me that there were like two games for 3DS that were announced. There were major Japanese uh, companies that are making it. But I, I don't know. I, I'm not really interested in any more 3DS games anyway. I have everything I need. I, I'm getting myself a... Uh, oh, I'd show it to you guys, but it would take too much time. Three minutes left. Uh, if Smash does come, will you stream it? I'm already... I'm still streaming Smash 4 Wii U, so... <laughs> I'm secretly hoping for another Kid Icarus. I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, you know what? Kid Icarus Uprising HD would be a bit disappointing, if you ask me, because I think it's just fine where it is on the 3DS. And uh, Smash 4 kind of teases a sequel, if anything. If Smash Brothers come out, what character do you want to see in the game? The Inkling, I suppose, uh, primarily. King K. Rool. Yeah, let's get King K. Rool in there too. I don't care that Sakurai doesn't care about it or Japanese audience doesn't care about it. Get K. Rool. Seriously, at least get another Donkey Kong representative. Two is absolutely pathetic. You have to drink water every now and then. What buff will you give to, to the E-Leader 4K? I want to buff it in all aspects, but the thing is, uh, I don't, also don't want to make it so that it obsoletes the other chargers. So I guess I'll just say that it can splat instantly at 80% charge. Do you think there will be a story mode in Smash? Uh, I would hope so, but I think I'd just be fine with Millie's adventure mode. That's That's my favorite type of story mode, if you ask me. I want Mario Kart DLC. I really do. Uh, I think Mario Kart's perfect as it is now. I mean, yeah, the roster. You could add some more characters, but personally, I think all the it's just fine the way it is. And we, like, it's just a deluxe version of the previous game. But one Mario Kart per generation is fine by me. Splatoon Story Mode DLC. Bring back Kelly. Get Octolanes in there. Then everyone will be happy. That's all you got to do with Splatoon 2. No need for an extra story mode. Just put back, put Cali back in. Get make Octolings playable. Maybe get make the uh, jellyfish playable too. I miss arms updates. Anyone think there would be any more? Wasn't there another arms update that I haven't gone to yet? I suppose I could stream arms uh, sometime soon. But I really want to get back to Mario Odyssey. I've let that game go for like three weeks now and there's the that new luigi's balloons thing that i haven't even checked out yet and i'm not even done with the post game either yes i have played doki doki literature club i had two streaming sessions for that game and i'm using the term game loosely here how about paid online info honestly I would rather they just forget about the paid online thing. <laughs> just say, okay, we're not doing paid online anymore. We'll just uh, do some more online thing. Although, honestly, they really should. Like, compared, the, compared to the virtual console services uh, they had for the Wii at launch, uh, they really should have more. They really, really should have more. I get back into Netflix if they offer that service on the Switch. It's starting? Okay, in that case, I'm going to switch to... Uh, I'm actually gonna refresh. Biggest collection in yeah. this micro game series. 
So it was delayed because I had to reset it. I've never really played the WarioWare series. There's a new way to play Wario strangely satisfying micro games. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. With classics and new additions. There are Don't trip, Sakurai! Entry in the series. Press buttons. Tilt the system. Oh no. The touch screen. And my gyro controls. Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. Think fast. What playstyle is required for this one? Better figure it out and dig that crazy action while it's hot. Hey, some familiar characters are rocking new looks. This is the most jam Oh, toilet paper. Just look at that. Face. That's where the Europe got the idea from. How the toilet brain. rolls go. Warrior Gold launches August 3rd. Yeah, sure. 3DS. I don't Get ready. I don't care. Oh, Dylan. Race down enemy Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. I played the first game of Dylan. It's yes, Action meets tower defense. This looks different. Dead heat this looks a little different, but the, the, the Dylan's Rolling Western is not too bad of a game, but it's really repetitive and it's really not good for your hands. You have to take breaks every now and then. Strategic and use your whole team. What in tarnation? Your friends me characters can join the team as gunners. Well, you'll need their help to face each wave of transforming. This looks like more of the same. But more of the same is not too bad, I suppose. I mean, it's its own gameplay. No one really blames Mario for its nonsense. Where is the octopus? Or rather, the squid. I think it was a squid. Maybe an octopus. Well, that's not too bad. Dylan is like one of the few new uh, franchises uh, created by uh, Nintendo in the since the 3DS uh, generation wait another Mario and Luigi remake really and they skip they skip partners in time but I don't mind that partners in time I don't need to that <laughs> Both brothers have been devoured by Bowser, and so their journey takes them deep. It's an interesting choice, but I think. Leaving Bowser to scour. Honestly, if they've already run out of ideas for Mario and Luigi, they might as well just uh, leave it to rest for the time being. Beef up for monstrous boss. And you know, make Paper Mario great again. Down in this action-packed RPG. Although honestly, I didn't really mind Sticker Star that much personally. Personally, uh -oh. but that's because I was able to get my mind to shift to the new gameplay. Well, I like Mario and Luigi, but I haven't tried the remake of the first game, and I, I like the third game too, but I don't feel like getting another remake for it too. In 2019? Really? 3DS is gonna get games even 2019. That is crazy. Runs his mouth. Hey, don't boss me around. Likes coffee. This high hat one is as delicious as ever. <laughs> Why are you not voiced by Danny DeVito, Pikachu? <laughs> it really should have been Danny DeVito, right? Well, it would have been crazy and insane. It probably would never have happened. Uh, I think the voice actor of Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, is K.G. Tang, right? The English voice actor. Detective Pikachu are on the case. I might just buy this game just for the ridiculousness of it. Did I do it? As of today, the game is available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop. Oh, pre-purchase. You can buy something without being able to play it. Oh, it's only uh, 15 days from now. Okay. <laughs> extra fat! Or extra thick, as every kid says these days. Another remake? Wait, Luigi's Mansion remake? Ooh, I might just get this. I I still don't have Luigi's Mansion on GameCube, but I I for a long time I've me meant to actually buy it. But hmm. Nintendo GameCube classic Luigi's Mansion has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Honestly, I thought this game was very underrated when it came out. Very short, of course, but uh, people really uh, kept. Uh, Tell Nintendo that, oh man, you shouldn't launch uh, your console Luigi's with uh, this type of game. Cap, it's too silly. Too cartoony. Besides, the mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. True. 
What are the extras though? Courage. Fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush mode. Okay, boss rush. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS launches sometime this year, so December 31st, probably. That's all for Nintendo 3DS. Okay. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep the headlines coming. That Smash Brothers uh, tab it's is fine. really exciting me right now. Yeah, like you guys don't see it, but Kirby there's a Smash tab. With those characters? Kirby Star Allies finally oh, there was a demo for this, uh, but back when I checked for it, it was just in Australia. So, Surprise. and if I want to play any demo on the Switch, it's that uh, RPG Square is well, well, making. You know, the one that's uh, Sprite, ma Sprite HD Sprite, stuff like that. I never, I haven't even gone around to it yet. Because of all the Splatoon 2 stuff that I focused on for the past few days with you all. Eventually, more Dream Friends will be added to the game via free updates after launch. Free updates. The first update will include Rick, Kine, and Koo. Mm-hmm. Marks. Hey, that's not an ally. And Gooey. It's like a dream come true to bring this ragtag crew of characters together from across the Kirby series. Kirby Star Allies launches on Nintendo Switch March 16th. Is it spoilers to say Marks is on an ally? Will be available March 28th. I mean, yes, he oh, pretends, yeah. but... Reminder, a free demo is available now in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. Is it available on of worldwide? Because <laughs> apparently it was just Australia initially. With new artistic touches. Okami? Okami. The grand adventure in classical Japanese style rises again in the HD version to save the land from a terrible curse. So Okami, uh, Okami, Okami already got ported to the Wii. Uh, like it's a PlayStation 2 game. It's a really, really old game. Overcome challenges using the power of the gods. The thing is that it was most appropriate for the Wii, so for it to come again to a Nintendo console without stylus is. It feels wrong a little bit. I, I mean, yeah, in handheld mode, you can do your finger thing, but come on. They need to. Uh, there, there probably already are some uh, styluses that you can buy for the Nintendo Switch. Maybe I should get one. Solve mysteries. But I think most tragically is that every time I see this game, I think of the company that made it. Grasshopper Manufactured, I think, is their name. They're defunct now, unfortunately. Eat up and throw Actually, no, I'm not sure if it was Grasshopper. Um, an adventure unlike any whatever, the company that made it is uh, defunct sushi now. Action. It's Sushi Striker, the way of Sushido. The story takes place after the bitter sushi struggles. Sushi, Raised huh? In a world where sushi is forbidden, Musashi must wage all-out conveyor belt sushi battles to defeat the Empire and top uh. of sushi monopoly. The gameplay is deep, but the basics are simple. Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table. Then throw them all at your opponent. Mix up your strategies to crush your enemies. If you manage to pull off a special move created by one of your sushi sprites, you may be able to get the upper hand in battle. Of course, there's a multiplayer mode too. Battling fellow sushi strikers online can get intense. September 2018 is when the pay Nintendo Switch Online is going live, apparently. That, I, was, I don't know what the hell this game is all about. Octopath Traveler. Cool. That's the demo I wanted to try. This is Masashi Takahashi from Square Enix. Mm -hmm. Today, I have three news items to share with you. Three news First, items? I'd like to introduce two Are they substantial? Characters. What lies beyond the horizon? Mm-hmm. Merchant. Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase. Which Should means she can obtain special items from townsfolk. Uh... I helped out someone uh, shouldn't a merchant be selling thing. items to other people? And this is Alfin, the apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is inquire. He can warm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Hmm. Next, let's talk about jobs in battle. Okay. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. Oh, oh that sounds kind of broken, actually. 
For instance, if another character like the Merchant Tressa equips the Dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic well, options. Since we can't do that, we'll basically just hack ourselves to have all the jobs at once. Finally, we know many of you have been wondering about the release date. The game launches July 13th. That's fairly soon! Additionally, we will be offering a special edition of the game. Inside, you'll find a pop-up book. <sighs> you mean a money grub edition? Of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on. Some of you probably don't remember, but games usually came with this stuff as you bought the game standard. Your comments Sometimes, have mostly the PC games. I want to say. Reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of Octopath Traveler. I am. I don't care if uh, only a couple of you watch my stream of that series. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna let's what play that game. When an otaku assassin enters the uh, game. No more heroes three. I have the first two, and I like them well enough. The legendary gaming console. It's a mature <laughs> game, though, so I'm not even. I'm not even sure if I'll get around to actually uh, let's play this one. Inside, there's an action game, racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. With his beam katana in hand. Yeah, mini games in Normal Heroes uh, have been kind of a thing since the second game. Uh, hell, the first game. The first game, though, the mini games were uh, repetitive. The second game had, if I remember correctly, better mini games, but the main game itself was a little weaker. Perhaps a lot weaker for some people. Hey, I know some of you don't like this third party stuff, but you gotta get through it first. Did we Metal Gear? Which tells a new story? It's not quite the same though. Travis strikes again. No more heroes. Launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch in 2018. Yeah, this is Grasshopper Manufactured. This, this is not a company that went defunct making Souls, Akami or some games like that. Also, Dark Souls. Y'all want me to Dark Souls on the Switch? Dark Souls. Actually, it might be better for me to do Dark Souls, Souls on the PC. And hope. But then it'd be just 30 frames per second. In the seemingly endless cycle of death, one clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Now you can savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Mm. Before launch, there's going to be a network test, so players uh, can try the game. Right. This will be your first Dark Souls experience. Welcome to a brave new world. This is true. Dark Souls has a nifty online... Uh, Stick. Of Astora, oh, ho, ho, ho. praise the sun! <laughs> yes, remastered, and the Solaire of Astora the best amiibo choice. May the best amiibo choice. How's it going so far? Well, I have a quick reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now redeem gold points for digital games and I should probably look into that. I have not checked my Nintendo in a little while because I couldn't access it. I couldn't access my my uh, Nintendo anymore. It wouldn't let me do it on my phone, so I think I've let my coins rot there for quite some time. Okay. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines, but first, let's shine a nice long spotlight on one title in particular. Please take a look. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was so happy uh, thinking it's going to be something really exciting, but then it's like, oh, Mario Tennis. I mean, I like Mario Tennis 64, but since like the second game in that series, I've been like, okay, yeah, Mario Tennis 64 was more than enough for me, if you ask me. Why does Rosalina float? Why is there a chomp playable? I'll say it doesn't really matter. Today we'll mainly cover the essentials of the refined tennis gameplay. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot. Yeah, see, the thing is, the gameplay, it was already perfect, quote unquote, since the first game. Everything you needed to have to, for a decent tennis game was already there from the very beginning. So all these sequels adding new gimmicks just kind of doesn't work. It just makes things uh, cheaper or slower or just not as exciting as it should be. But I imagine they all have modes where it's just like basic tennis without gimmicks. Just, I don't know. 
stone shots are really powerful. So if you get hit by We don't need more powerful shots. If your racket takes three hits, but I, I honestly I should complain because I don't I haven't played a really uh, Mario tennis game in a long time. I wouldn't mind playing Mario tennis, just don't give up hope. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing and you'll block protecting your racket. So parry, that's what you got. That's the gimmick of this one. Parries. That's where zone speed comes into play. When using zone speed, the world around you moves in slow motion, allowing you to perform incredible feats, like chasing down a quick shot. It's no instant win card. Uh, it does sound like an instant win card, actually. Of course, you can't just spam zone shots and zone speed the whole match. You can only initiate these moves by using up some of your energy gauge. The energy gauge slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. But the fastest way to fill up your gauge is with the new trick. The thing is that... The thing is that with gauges like this, super meters like this, that... Humans are naturally defensive, so people will probably just use uh, the defensive option all the time. Energy gauge will get a big boost. Fill up your gauge and it's go time. Initiate your ultimate shot. The yeah, this is basically a fighting game now. It will eat up your energy in a big way, but this thing can really turn the tide. It may even destroy your opponent's racket in one hit. However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. Of in course. In intense matches, Every move you make presents a risk. And the characters look a little strange in this game. Your energy gauge could also, Waluigi's hair. Yeah, that's a, that's the real gimmick of this you game. Waluigi's hair. Zone shot or use it for some defense. This is what I mean. Defense. Everyone's going to use it for defense all the freaking time. Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Or will you try to destroy your opponent's racket and run the risk of getting blocked? Don't do it against Daigo. Non-stop split-second strategies may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Oh man, I, get, I said n don't do it against someone like Daigo, but uh, you can also Daigo is actually really uh, which means old now compared to how he was uh, back when he did the Evo Moment 34. Once you connect online, uh, was it Evo Moment 34 uh, or Evo or Moment 37? I know, Evo Moment uh, Street Fighter 3. Online tournaments will be held With all the parries. Hmm. Matchmaking is based on your record during the event. As a participation bonus, you can get special outfits or even additional characters. There's also swing. The goal of this game is to give players a sense of accomplishment. Forehand. It's totally not going to be a loot box system. Winning tournaments to unlock characters, like seriously, and it's just Koopa. It's a very generic character. It's perfect. You want to play the game casually with your friends and family, or just get your body moving. Mm, getting my body moving would be nice. How about a Wii Fit game, huh, Nintendo? The game offers a refined approach to tennis gameplay, focusing on deep strategic chaos. Wii Sports Plus, HD. Offer other to the good old you know, you, you said Wii Sports HD, uh, Orbital. The thing is, the... Wii U uh, version of Wii Sports um, was honestly really disappointing to me. Mario Tennis Aces launches June the way they uh, they did the mini games there was just confusing oh, for me. And one last thing, as we approach the game's launch, we decided to hold a pre-launch online tournament. A global splatfest? Launch fire? La launch itself. test? I I don't even remember the name. Test fire? Yeah, test fire. Date. I mean, I can't blame them. It's a good idea. Arms did the same thing too. We'll have more on Mario Tennis Aces in the future. Well, I think that was enough. Thank you very much. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Captain Toad is ready to explore other systems. 
Captain I played Captain Toad. It's a pretty good game. Nintendo Switch. Explore a variety of tricky sandbox style levels inspired by Japanese box garden called Hakoniwa. Uh, you can the okay. And touch the screen for a better view of hidden treasures. And this time, we've included a few Super Mario Odyssey levels too. Wait, is this a port? I mean, I've played Captain Toad once, but uh, if it's a port, I think I'll just play the Wii U version. By the way, did you know Captain Toad also appeared in Super Mario? Odyssey? Yes. The Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Yeah, yeah I think it is a port. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turn up cover fire, so you can enjoy tracking treasure together. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with 3D visuals and touchscreen controls. It feels like there's a box garden. It's right still the same game too. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker launches July 13th. So it's a port, right? With a couple of new levels, but uh, still. Oh! Really? <laughs> About time! Should I play the game again? Should I play it again? Eventually. That's not, don't get don't and just icon. It's already on PS4 and Vita. It shouldn't take this long. Impossible isn't possible until it happens. All three original Crash Bandicoot games are debuting on a Nintendo system for the very first time. Spin, jump, and wump through the trilogy's hundred plus action platforming levels as Crash. Oh wow, I, I'm looking at this Crash Bandicoot stuff and I'm thinking, oh, I'm just browsing through the internet watching uh, all those speedrun fails, but uh, the original games. So yeah, this is kind of weird. I mean, it's one thing for Sonic to be on Nintendo system, now it's Crash Bandicoot. I mean, it does make sense though. Form an uneasy alliance with the mad scientist in Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Uh, and stop him in the evil Uka Uka through a battle across time in Crash Bandicoot 3. War. Yeah, I've heard that uh, this remake uh, actually screwed up the physics of the originals. Like, uh, Crash's hitbox is uh, very slightly different, and because of that, uh, jumping around is a little difficult. From award-winning independent developer Tarzier Studios comes a charmingly horrific adventure like no other. Ooh. The puzzle platformer Little Nightmares. This looks cool. In the Maw, a vast vessel. Uh, this looks cool is actually really not a good description for any game. But I'm actually interested. This has piqued my interest. In one package. It looks very in simple, but the kids separate adventures. You must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including eight all chapters, past downloadable huh? content. Each room is a cell. Each resident is a threat. And both present complex 3D puzzles to master. Complex, huh? Not to mention, you can. Is it? Are you sure it's not like Limbo, where it's actually quite simple how you play? Also, this is a strange. Uh, Little nightmares completed. <laughs> a strange uh, thing, but hey, guess what? I do have the Pac-Man amiibo, so I'm ready. South Park is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, cool! Yeah, South Park. We're excited to announce that South Park: The Fractured But Whole is the fractured to but Switch. whole. From the creators of South Park comes this outrageously offensive superhero adventure. Outrageously offensive, anytime, yeah. <laughs> anywhere for the very first time. Customize your avatar. Come on down to South Park and join Stan. I haven't watched South Park in a long time, but that's largely because I haven't been watching TV in a long time. Have yourself a time with a battle system as surprisingly deep as the show that spawned. Ah, you just let him hit you. Choose a class, level up, build your notoriety, craft items, go on quests, and more. All, All right, a lot of these games being announced for Nintendo Switch are silly. Or as a part of the season pass. And it's all DLC it's almost been a half an hour too, so this direct is almost over, I wanna say. They they didn't give an exact uh and DLC three bring the crunch will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. Is my uh, stream lagging? But whole releases on Nintendo Switch April twenty fourth. Strange. It it looks like my stream is lagging. 
Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches when exactly? Ugh. Let's take a quick moment for a release date announcement. Damn it. Heroes and villains of the Legend of it's Zelda still playing normally on uh, on PC, so... This spring. Okay, good, good. I guess it's because I minimized the picture. Yeah, I minimized the window. That's why it uh, froze there. But you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss anything. Arms fans, don't miss this. Oh, Pony901. The Arms League is pleased to extend an invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who've been playing the game, enjoying all the added characters and stages, and going online to play the new Party Crash mode. We're happy to announce the Arms US and Canada Online Open. Okay, specifically Freelance US and will take Canada. Place in the game's online ranked match mode from March 8th to March 18th. Eight top players will then move on to the That's today to till the 18th. Hmm. All finalists will receive a custom art piece created by the development team. We'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo of America headquarters on our official site. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details in the coming weeks. And if you're not an ARMS fan just yet, well, we have good news. On March 31st, we'll be hosting a three-day test punch. Down Another test punch, huh? From Nintendo e -shop on Nintendo Switch. An actual uh, <laughs> price reduction would be really, really nice, actually, especially for Canada, where every game is eighty dollars now. Kosuke Yabuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference, and Hisashi Nogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise. Uh, <laughs> Splatoon and Splatoon 2. There we go. That's the Splatoon and Splatoon 2 news. news bulletin. But no, it's here's the real thing. Time. Apparently, the last thing on the thing that we have to announce now. This Version game, 3. Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Version 3.0 is coming. Here's a brief and briny taste. Late April. So that's two months from now. 100 new pieces of gear. Okay. Nice, fresh looks. Just in time for spring. Oh, the Squid Nordic! I saw it. I want. I've been meaning to get the Squid Nordic myself. Okay, another Splatoon one stage. And camp triggered fish. <laughs> and a new stage. Wahoo world! And what? Rank X is here. What? Rank X is an extreme rank, even higher than S plus. More details are coming soon. But I just got the S plus. Oh, also finally Kelly is back. <laughs> Kelly is back, but no Octolings. So don't miss out. I'm not doing Road to X. I'm not doing Road to X unless I feel like it. Seriously, I've just finished. I'm not doing rank for another month. Check out their latest video. Ah, no Octolings. Or maybe they are octolings. Apparently. Octolings in Splatoon 2. Or this octolane only, maybe? Oh, hi. <laughs> Cuddlefish. <laughs> Pearl, Gangsta, and Marina Gangsta too. Oh wow, who's he? Oh ho ho. Okay, there, is there actually a male Octolane that's playable? Ooh. So you are playing as an Octolane, but against other Octolanes. It's actually an extend, extended story mode. Okay, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that. And once you're done, you can play as an Octoling. So, RIP ARMS fans, Splatoon 2 fans, they're in heaven now.
Yeah. But where did they what are they gonna do for a spot? Oh wait, wait, wait. This is DLC! Oh taking some of my cash, huh? Squid Research Lab here. Is it is it free? I wasn't paying attention. You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content. Paid downloadable content. So yeah, I gotta fork over some cash if you wanna play as your Octoling friends. I can afford it, but uh Wait, I, Agent 8? On the platform of a dark subway station without her memories. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway. To be fair, it did seem to be could do good to be true. Well, this is a this is an entirely new campaign with an entirely two type of character talents. that will probably be available for everyone to see, but still. Expect and new stories to unfold, shedding new light on the. I want to know the price, honestly. I want to know the price. If it's like ten dollars or twenty dollars, probably fair enough. But uh, for people who just wanted to play as Octolanes, this is definitely a ripoff, right? <laughs> an octoling we hope you enjoy this fresh perspective since octa means eight in latin uh, that means 2018 is the year of the octoling what about october huh expansion will launch this summer this summer after today's 28 dollars 20 american dollars it's probably going to be 26 dollars in canada or maybe even 30 dollars with this purchase splatoon 2 owners will immediately receive octo themed in-game gear to use in battle today oh and if you don't buy the dlc that's all you're going to see to your octoling friends as <laughs> hopefully splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations you bet Smash! Smash, please! Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. Smash! Look at our last video for the day. Smash! Smash! This is a Splatoon 1 uh, video, but... But... It's gonna switch to smash. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. It's gonna switch to smash. It's gonna switch to smash. Actually, no, I'm getting hyper to nothing. Seriously, just. Oh, Splatoon 1 port? That might be true too. No, it's smash. It's smash or some weird crossover. Smash! I told y'all! Okay, but uh, there's another thing that kind of disappoints me. Um, no Fire Emblem news. I was actually half expecting Fire Emblem news. But yes! Finally! <laughs> Smash forever. My channel started as a Smash channel, and it's going to be a Smash channel forever. And that's pretty much it. Not, we don't even know if it's actually a port or if it's actually a completely new version. We saw Breath of the Wild Link, though. No Fire Emblem news? Okay. So no Fire Emblem, unfortunately, for some people who were looking forward to that. But we got tons of good news! Splatoon 2 is getting Octolanes. Callie is back. It's paid DLC, but I'm going to get it anyway to show you all who can't afford it. And Smash is coming 2018. Hopefully. Probably late in the year. So I think this is a pretty good direct. What do you all think? Hmm? Uh, I think I'm gonna actually uh, process the news though because it was quite a bit to take. Still, I, I imagine people are more satisfied with this direct than the last couple of previous ones, right? Hmm? Looking forward to the Octopath Traveler as well and there's plenty of other games I can play if y'all want me to try them out. Undertale again, maybe? No, probably not. Okay. Um, hope you've all enjoyed this and all have a day. Process the news. Don't get too disappointed or hyped up or something. Just process just what happened. Think about it. Rest on it. Don't don't jump to assumptions like I did just as I saw that smash thing coming. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, uh, one last thing. Road to S plus can do tomorrow. Probably. <laughs>